cell expansion, you can see that for all of our cells, we have an estimate then, or some kind of prediction of what the entire cell boundary looks like. And this is based upon distance. So QPAP will detect the nuclei and then expand. So if I don't want that, I can just decrease this value to zero, and then we only have a nucleus detector. For each cell, then we've got fewer measurements because we only have the nucleus. I can also increase it and then the cell expansion will go much further. And so these cell estimates, they're not based upon any membrane stating, we don't have it. They're just based upon distance from the nucleus and the proximity of other nuclei because it won't expand into another expanding nucleus. So the default is five. And this is a parameter that you may want to change if you are maybe wanting to look at a biomarker located outside the nucleus, but you don't want to risk making measurements within neighboring cells. So in that case, if I make this a very low value, then our measurements are made just in a small ring around the nucleus. For each cell, we get these nucleus measurements, we get cell measurements, which is within the entire outer perimeter, and also we get, and you can barely see them behind my little thing here, we get cytoplasm measurements, which are just within this ring outside the nucleus. And so, you can adjust the cell expansion and one of the reasons it's not necessarily to give you a more plausible cell boundary but it's more to get the measurements that are going to be most meaningful for you and that might be it might be better to restrict them however if you're looking at only a nucleus then whenever we come to look at classifying the cells it's beneficial to make some kind of estimate some kind of cell expansion so we have some estimate of the cell boundary because then we get additional measurements of the nucleus to cell area ratio and this becomes informative when we're trying to train a tumor classifier. So even if you're not interested in assessing anything outside of the nucleus, if you're training a classifier, it's worthwhile to keep the cell expansion because there's a good chance that it's going to improve the quality of the classifier that you're ultimately able to train. And we'll see that in a moment.